That is so loud. <laughs> oh my god. My ears. <laughs> oh, I forgot you named yourself okay. Blue Guju. Yeah, of course. When we get to the Blue Goo, you're going to be like, oh, he knew the whole time. When is we get the to the Blue can, Goo, you'll goo. know I knew. Is that the Goo that can breathe underwater? Yes, sir. As you can see, that goo that's Pikmin. that goo that was floating in the water right down there looked an awful lot like carrots. See, I brought it back, dude. You thought I wasn't listening. You thought I was making my own joke. No, no way. I would never. <laughs> so this is a uh, drool. This is this yeah. Is I was a game about to say, where, just yeah, like yeah. spit goo. Yeah, this is just goo that's like fucking like flimmy, like you drank too much milk. And yeah, that's that's it. Mm. That's a nice, Pat. It's skim milk though, because it's not too cloudy. It's just a little bit cloudy, so that you can see it. I painted a good picture for you, man. Yeah, it's really good. You happy that I'm I'm bringing it up again? No, it's good. I like how you you're talking a lot about milky spit. Uh, I feel like it's a big a good contribution to our our, our channel and. Uh, how many uh, how many video game commentary channels have you heard talking about Milky Spit? Not enough, you know? Just not enough. I don't know, man. I, but we're really trying to diversify the, the Milky Spit crowd. We're trying I really, to, you know, branch out. Exactly, man. I really want people to come to our channel and go, You know, he's got a point. That does look like Milky Spit. And then, you know... From there, the <laughs> possibilities turn off are the video endless. Because why did they they accidentally clicked in the first place? <laughs> oh, I was trying to click on this video of Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt insulting each other, but you know, you know, this one had Jew in the title, so I'm pretty sure that that video was actually one of our like link to videos. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It was like, Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt fucking just are mean to one another. <laughs> the interview. And then that was it. No, but here's the thing. I've been reading stuff about improv comedy in a book called Impro, right? Yeah. And they actually did talk about, like, uh, insulting people. Like, like, it's like, actually, like, like I, I, I saw that video. I was like, hey, yep. that's like the exercise the guy talked about in the book. Um, Which it? Uh, basically, such, it, it's basically an uh, exercise to make it so that, like, it makes people able to laugh at themselves instead of bringing their ego into things. Into, like, yeah. you know, uh, if, if, like, a improv comedian is, like, going out and doing shit, but they, like, don't want to be the butt end of the joke, then, like, they're fucking... Anyway, um, other things like that. And, yeah. like, it's funny to, like, be insulted and, like, insult people. Like, it's a little funny, right? Yeah. Like, when I call you, like, fuckface and shit, like, that's, that's a thing. Of course, yeah. I, I think it's really funny. It doesn't even, doesn't even make me feel like maybe you, like, deep down feel that way. Like, actually. You know? Yeah. I mean, because yeah, if I did, then, if, because way. if you did, then that would just make you, like, really insecure and kind of pathetic. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, like, y y yeah, because when we record together, I, I know you're just kidding when you're like, hey, Patrick, I've noticed that you've gotten a little fat. Uh, do you, do you want to, like, maybe maybe cut down on the, you know, the candy that we have sitting on the on the couch with us? Like, maybe, you know, maybe maybe you should, you know, slow down on it a little bit. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, you got me. Oh man, I don't even feel awful about myself. That's yeah, that's uh, that's pretty yeah. It's all about the improv, man. <laughs> hey Patrick, I thought that you went to school for engineering. I thought you were a smart guy. Why the fuck are you doing that with the goo balls? God, you're such an idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, you oh, got God. me, Brian. Oh man, you're not even. I don't even feel awful right now. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh man, that's so funny. <laughs> oh god, dude. Oh, you're going for it again. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't terrible. It all worked out in the end. I think I was supposed to use the drool goo, and I was supposed to float uh, over that to spike, like that spiky. It kind of just looks like an orifice, actually. I think yeah, that's well, what I was supposed to do. I think it looks like an orifice because it is an orifice. Yeah. An orifice just means like a hole, right? Yes. Yes, it does. I'm pretty sure it's no, I'm like, that's actually what it means, right? Join us next time on Pressure Gate where we define the next word of the day. Well, up is the opposite the direction of the pull of gravity. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that shit. Oh, man. It's a lot of wind. Another... Huh? So, okay. Here's the pipe. I guess it's giving me the balloons. Is this thing supposed to lift off? I don't know, dude. Oh, it's supposed to make like a little bridge with balloons and drool. Oh yeah, I remember that time you tied a you tied a balloon to your, your drooly spit? Yeah. Yeah, we've all been there before, right? Exactly, man. I just hate it when I haven't had enough peanut butter that day and my balloon flies away and everybody sees it and I'm really embarrassed about it. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, the tensile strength of my spit is a, it, it's basically the equivalent of the size of my penis. Like, you know, it... Something tells me those are two very different units of measure. Well, that, oh, Ooh. that windmill pops balloons. I see now. Especially, that's fucked up, especially considering that, like, those balloons are goo balls. Yeah, I think they're living creatures. Is that what you're gonna say? I think so, yeah. I think they're just goo. Yeah. Well, I can only feel so guilty, because I can't help but feel like it's slightly their fault. I mean, you yeah, know. Look, they... They're asking for it, look. They're wearing they're... pink outside. Tell me about it, man. Fucking match it. Don't they know anything? Red sky and morning. Fucking goo balls are to blame for everything. Old sailor's tale. Oh! It's their fault, dude. It's oh, you can just mind. undo in this game? I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, you just click on the, like, little things that are from Rayman, I'm pretty sure. Like, mm, little okay. eyeballs with, like, with wings. Your nose are called flies, Patrick. Uh, when it when it pops them, is it breaking them or is it killing my goo? I, don't I think know. it's killing. I think it my might goo. be killing the goo. Because if it just breaks them, then they like go back to yeah. It's definitely killing them. I have significantly <gasps> less goo than I did before. Mm. Don't worry, the solution game. is more balloons. I like how this this spit uh, stretches itself out to optimal length. Oh! Come on! Oh! Come on! You can do it. There's a little more. Don't touch! God damn it! Control Z. Uh, Wait, do you have like they, limited control Zs? They are dead. I'm just gonna try. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dude, never happened. <laughs> Were you trying to like give them a haircut? Were you trying to like shave their faces, dude? I, I, you know, I was just trying to take a little off the top. You know. Just, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Took a little too much off. Now they're gonna go to school, and all the kids are gonna make fun of them. Be like, who cut your hair? Your dad? Do you ever have recently? That happen, no, but I I did recently start cutting my own hair though. Yeah. And what, at what my is place that of work. Like? Huh? What is that experience like? Uh, fine. Uneventful for the most part. <laughs> okay. Um, but at my place of work, there's like, a this girl who is mm, okay. now pretty you have cool. Alright. Uh, <laughs> my point is, she was like, uh, uh, this is just like, fucking... <laughs> God damn it. Some of my goo jump off. Somebody go commit suicide. 
Fucking Christ. You My guys. Point is, I, I was walking oh, around yeah. with like a fucking tuft of hair. That was like way longer than the rest of it because it was on the back of my head and I didn't know it. It's an embarrassing story. <laughs> yeah. Aw, dude, come on. You could have made that into a sick rat tail. Uh, well, you know, it was like, uh, it was not near the nape of my neck, so. <laughs> it was sort of in like no man's land of hair. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but she's pretty cool to have told you. Yeah. She was just like, man. Like, you gotta get that shit under control, big boy. And I was like, I just can't see the back of my head, girl. What you want? She's like, I don't want you to... I, I want you to be better. That's what I want. Oh, God. Sounds like a cool girl. Yeah, pretty much. She brought in cookies for oh. people once. So that's pretty good. That's nice of her. Did you say thank you? Uh, no, she didn't bring any for me. Mm. <laughs> so she's pretty cool. very nice now that you... <laughs> that doesn't sound very cool to me. Okay, I think I gotta move the balloons. Okay. Shit, my goo is dying. Why? Because they're going off screen. If they go far enough off screen, they die. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, see. Yeah, I think you you gotta reposition your God damn it. I think I lost way too much. Oh no. Yeah, I'm definitely losing too much gear. Okay, one more one more retry. I promise this is the last one. This is definitely the last one. I'm definitely not gonna do it two more times. I'm gonna do the speed run, dude. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go, it's happening. So, dude. Uh, yes. I grew a beard because I have a weak chin. And, what? Uh, right? A yeah, weak yeah. chin? Yeah, haven't you heard that term before? No. Or are you that? saying that I don't have a weak chin that is very strong? In that case, thank you, Brian. Oh no, goodness. I'm saying, what is a weak chin? It, it, your jawline isn't very structured. Like, it, it looks... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it exactly. There's not a strong line to the where your like chin and jaw separate from your neck. Uh huh. So if you grow a beard, it like defines that line and it makes your chin look nicer, right? Gotcha. But now I have the problem of people are like, seriously, you keep that beard? And I'm like, God damn it, like. <laughs> You can't have both, guys. <laughs> My sister recently told me, she was like, I really think that the reason why you're single is because cause the beard is off-putting. And I'm like, come the fuck on, man. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not trying to date you. So, well, that's your problem right there, dude. Yeah. Who do you have more in common with than your sister? You got your genes in common. She has a weak chin, too, now that you mention it. <laughs> oh, man, you guys have so much in common, dude. You're really, like, shooting yourself in the foot by not capitalizing on that. Yeah. We could we could pass on those good genes. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because no, if, we're, if we're going the incest route, I'm going farther than you are. <laughs> okay, well, I mean... <laughs> I will not back down on this. Uh, I, oh, I was awesome, reading an improv dude, book. Okay, yeah, you got I, it. Nice job. I was reading that improv book that you were talking about earlier, and it said that if an incest joke comes up, you gotta go strong to the net. You can't go. You can't be fucking around. Don't let your friend be no balls. Don't be no balls. Don't that, be no balls. Don't be no balls. That's what it said. Truer words have never been spoken, Pat. Don't be no balls, huh? Mm-hmm. That's correct. <laughs> oh, God. This is so tense. Oh, God, they're gone! Okay, it's fine. Never happened. Ooh-hoo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, dude. You just gotta, you gotta reposition little poppy b b b b b b balloons. Yeah, I'm trying to get the spit on the opposite side of the windmill to be lower, but still keep it off it on this side, yeah. 
Okay, I think I think that's good. Maybe one more. Yep. Oh, I'm so close. Okay. You're gonna do it, dude. Come on. Big money. Big money. Don't touch the windmill. Don't fucking touch. <laughs> oh god. Uh, uh, you know what? We did it. <laughs> good enough. And flush. That turd of a level like is never gonna be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Get it. Get out of here, guys. Pressure gauge games where, like, fucking mediocrity is good enough.